We're here with Melissa Kelly, chef and owner of Primo Restaurant in Maine, and she's been using the Breville five quart stand mixer in her food service. And you really must have an attention for detail because of your menu, everything's from farm to plate. That's true. We raise chickens, we have pigs, and, and for me, we, I like to call it a full circle kitchen. We make everything from scratch. So the details are extremely important. Having the right equipment is crucial. So before we get to some of your Amoretti cookies, which I've heard all about, let's talk about some of the features of the Breville stand mixer. You know, it's, I love the design of it. It's very sleek, it's easy to clean. It's nice and quiet. When it's on, even at full speed, it has a very gentle low hum, where some mixes that we've worked with in the past are very disturbing in the middle of service because we're making everything a la minute to order. I like this feature that we can lift up the top and it locks in. This uh, scraper beater is the best thing I've ever seen on a mixer. And it's got a little spatula on the side, so it creams the ingredients perfectly without leaving anything on the side of the bowl. You also have a timer on here, which you can count up or down. Yep. So once you have your recipe set to a T, and I, can, I have a lot of students working in the kitchen, and sometimes if you don't have that feature, all of a sudden their whites are over whipped. Today we're going to make some amaretti cookies. It's a little Italian cookie. It's very crisp and light. It has uh, almost like a meringue in it, whipped up egg whites. And why it works so well for this recipe is it's a uh, balloon shaped it's also very flexible and we get beautiful soft pillowy peaks I love that <laughs> so let's get into the Emirati cookies well the first thing we need is uh, price this is price, price. Kushner my oh. uh, partner and pastry chef at Primo secret ingredients <laughs> we are gonna first put on the uh, balloon whisk which is best for for whipping the whites. Yeah, extra large wire whisk. And we'll just add the whites. And we'll start it on low. And we add a pinch of salt or two to help stabilize the whites. Usually we'll take the bowl off to check the peaks so that we do have these nice soft gentle peaks. So now we're going to set this aside and mm -hmm. start with the, the paddle. And then I'm just going to put it up to a, a medium speed so that it can just start to break apart the almond peels. What we're trying to do is, is get the bigger pieces of almond paste broken down to about the same consistency as the sugar. So the next step with the amaretti recipe is the creaming step. So we need to change the beater. We're going to add half of the egg whites that weren't whipped and a little amaretto. Okay, so we'll start, um, we'll put the other part of the egg whites that we didn't um, whip earlier in. And, and this is perfect, the scraper beater. We're just going to add a little bit of amaretto. It looks great and it's taken probably half the time because we don't yep. have to stop, scrape everything down. And it's a lot smoother, there are no lumps. Cool. And you can see how, how well everything's incorporated and quick, which is great for me when I'm doing 50 things at once. <laughs> Our whipped whites from before, what we're going to do is just add some to begin to lighten the mixture and, and on low speed because you don't want to deflate the whites too much, yep. but you need to loosen the mixture in order to fold in the rest mm -hmm. of the whites mm -hmm. to keep mm -hmm. it light. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be fully mixed in all the way because we're going to be adding more and folding more. But you can see now how it's just a little bit lighter mm -hmm. and we'll be able to fold in the whites a little easier. And the scraper's great because it's you know flexible the whole thing it's got a long blade which is which is really nice and it curves right to the bowl so it does a great job of folding very easily and then we'll just slowly just work this in now we're going to put it into a piping bag so we can pipe them mm -hmm. out uh, and then get them ready to go in the oven so about 20-25 um, minutes at 350 they get nicely browned and we just get them plated up and ready to go to the table. A nice little cookie after dinner treat, the Amoretti cookie by Primo.